So today we are spraying one of our watermelon garden and uh, people who are interested in watermelon growing have been reaching out asking questions but of course like I promised to take you through the entire journey how to grow watermelon today our watermelon has germinated and now we are in the spraying process so I want to show you which insecticide, which uh, pesticide, you know, which one exactly do you use. Now the first stage, of course, you need to have your sprayer, your knapsack sprayer. I recommend having a 20 liters. Of course, its spray is very heavy, by the way. So I have two, two sprayers here, because we are also two, I have this young man who will be helping me through the entire journey and uh, for the next three months you'll be seeing him around me so now once your watermelon is ready uh, these are some of the insecticide that you need first one you need what is called rocket this is called rocket prof force 40 percent plus cypermethrin 4% EC this is an insecticide very strong uh, now rocket normally fight against uh, insects like locusts and other insects that normally come to attack your vegetables and then your melons once they are germinated rocket is very strong uh, now something you need to know about rocket Rocket is too strong that you actually only spray when you're seeing a lot of insects disturbing your garden. Otherwise, if there are not too many, you can always just spray it once or twice and you even leave it. So first stage, we are starting with rocket and I'm going to show you how to measure it. Then secondly, what we're also doing today, there is a powdery uh, insecticide also here or herbicide here which this is called uh, this is actually powdery and then the, you some people call it uh, malcozeb or falcozeb actually that's the name malcozeb something like that so that is it now starting with malcozeb how do you how do you measure it in your 20 liter sprayer what you have to do you 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 need to have a tablespoon like this then you measure uh, four tablespoon in in 20 liters make sure the the spoon is full you measure one you measure two you measure three then you measure four so that is it let my friend also be doing the other sprayer because he will earn the one i will also earn the one so this is it about malcozeb actually we will be using malcozeb throughout the entire process all these three months that our melon will be coming we'll be taking care of it with malcozeb then when it comes to rocket, this is actually the second time spraying our melon garden. So I'm going to, what you do, you actually use this lid right here, the lid of the, of the, of the bottle of rocket. So you measure one full lid, then you pour it in a 20 liter jerry can or in a 20 liter sprayer. So what you do, you measure like this. then you pour it's very strong you can even see the reaction so after doing that we now start mixing and uh, some people may say how do you mix you may think you use stick to mix it no you don't need any stick to mix your your things 
So another one we have, we actually have others like Vegemax. This is a plant foliar fertilizer. We also have a striker, which of course today we are not using it. We are going to start involving it maybe next week. This is basically to boost. So for today, we are just going to use these two and uh, they will be enough for today. So Romo Robo, we can just mix it. So this is how you mix your, your, your thing. You use this actually. So to mix. As you mix, you'll even be seeing the reaction, by the way. And uh, uh, as you mix, you'll be pumping, just like the way it's doing it. You'll be pumping until it's hard. Then you, like, just exactly the way it's doing. As you pump, once uh, your sprayer is strong, you need to stop because if you overpress it, you're going to break your sprayer. And you know this sprayer is around 50,000. There are some that goes around 80,000 Uganda shillings. So. Why are we doing this? Because like like man because uh, for example is powdery if you don't mix it very well make it on here right eh? if you don't mix it very well it will uh it will remain in the base of your square i made the moment We are actually supposed to be having all the gears, all the safety gears, like the, like the, the face mask, the no, the mouth, and uh, some overalls. But of course, that is something I'll be having very soon. Just looking for the right place to buy it from Ramadan mm -hmm. So just like that, the thing is ready and uh, we just cover it. Make sure you don't touch your mouth or your face because you know this we are dealing with chemicals so this is basically the process of mixing your chemicals your insecticide pesticide and herbicide for spraying your melon and we are ready to go to the garden
Welcome to the world of farming. My name is Charles Layo. I am the Ugandan farmer and I'm advocating for smart agriculture, food security and anger-free community in northern Uganda. Thank you for watching.